So you ready? Yes. Whoa! <laughs> so that is the torque that's coming out. Yeah, when you put your foot down on this thing, it really goes, right? It's instantaneous. There are no gears, no basically. It should be just one gear for, for, for this kind of a vehicle. Should you just stop and go? But, uh, but go is very fast. Yeah. <laughs> That's the nice thing about electric vehicles. Even when I was riding the Nissan, right. it can't go that fast, but the acceleration is yes. incredible. Any True. vehicle of the line, you can beat it. Correct. It's nice yeah. that you've got all these electric shuttles going around the compound. Oh, yes. And you were saying earlier that you have electric bicycles as well, right? Yes, that staff can use between different uh, buildings, sections, different uh, sections buildings. Of, the set of the compound. Park and then we can have a go at it again. Okay, but it's very quiet. Yeah, it's silent basically. It's silent, yeah. And then the wheels, because they're they're very big, they actually aid in the handling. Uh, <laughs> when this goes, it really goes. Ah, people. Fortunately, the braking is just as good as yes, the acceleration. That's a good thing about it. And they, I mean, they've really thought of everything on this car, right? The, the good braking, the acceleration, the okay. everything is pretty much as good as you can get. True. Even the bumps, it doesn't really feel. Yes. Oh, one thing that it does is it also geolocates, um, it memorizes locations. Okay. So if it has memorized already that a certain uh, road has a hump, for example, it automatically changes the setting wow. of the suspension. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, so you can see the suspension, if you can, it will be um, varying from time to time. Because it knows there's going to be a hump coming yes. up. Wow, that's incredible. It's another straight. <laughs> it just throws you back in your seat. Correct. It's so quick. And this is not even ludicrous mode. <laughs> it's just a normal car or a normal Tesla car. There's just so much torque. So and zero this is all to still. Yeah. Zero, to zero to 100 is 5.5 seconds. Wow. That's why when we look at the energy setting, uh, it's going to say it's inefficient. It's very <laughs> inefficient. Yeah. Even if it's supposed to run for 300 uh, kilometers because of the way we've been driving it, it's a really lowest the yeah. projected. It just gives you 100 <laughs> kilometers. 109 so. From from 295 yeah. to 109. <laughs> so how you drive the vehicle is going to make a huge difference yes, to your range. Yes. But it's also going to make a huge difference well, to how much similar, fun you have. It's, uh, correct. It's inversely proportional to each other. But it's similar to gasoline because gasoline is also... Yeah, if you put both. your foot to the floor, correct. it's going to ease up your gas. There, there you go. There. Yeah, I'm uh, opening that. I see. So over here you can see oh, so over here you can see the electric bicycles, and they've actually got quite a few there. You have fifteen actually. The fifteen compound. bicycles, wow. E-bikes. Uh, E-bikes, all, all e-bikes, electric powered. Yeah, it's very. So easy. the station is also ready charged. Ah, right? uh, okay. So I just came back to grab another battery, and there it is. Look at how nice that car looks. Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, let's go back in. I've never been in the compound before. Oh, you've never been here? No, yeah, it's, a, it's a 25 hectare compound. Uh, I think at Christmas you open it up, is that right? Yes. And you have so, like so a lighting. Lights, the lights, uh, correct. We've been doing it for the past 10 years. Oh. I was actually the one who started the, the Oh, really? <laughs> yes. I like so, the idea. But, but the time, at that time, we were really looking for, for houses. Mm. that were lighting up and then we awarded them uh, uh, so you'd yeah. go around and like compare them see so which one's the best so well, that's a nice day, idea every night uh, go back here at 12, 12, 12 p.m. <laughs> or 12 a.m. Mm. so you're gonna come back here in December yeah, yeah, yeah you have will. to come back here you're gonna see a lot I'd like to see that yes. I went to we also couple. used EVs uh, yeah. to shuttle people around as well uh, during the during the and day. you can have a basket truck right? right a what? basket truck the one with the lips are lineman up the oh really so you can ride that they're that, gonna yeah. put you a size 40 feet yeah, <laughs> yeah that's that nice. would be good you can cover that yeah. Yeah. people fall in line for that Correct. basket truck ride that's pretty cool it's, it's yeah. an experience yeah <laughs> it's actually scary <laughs> i can imagine 50, uh, 40 foot right 40 foot wow <laughs> it's got good acceleration <laughs> 
here. From here. We'll probably see it from here, or we'll just do the other side. Yeah, from this there side. There it is. Oh, yeah. So, if you see up there on top of that roof, there are vertical wind turbines, and they're producing, uh, sorry, they're, the output of those is around 1.5 kilowatt, is that right? Per, per wind turbine. So you can see them on top of the roof there, and that's actually what's powering, or what's used to power these electric vehicles. So it's really perfect, because instead of, you know, using coal power generated or something like that, it's really straight from renewable energy sources. So it's nice to see that up on the roof. And you also have solar, is that right? Yeah, solar, yeah, but oh. six kilowatt. Uh, six solar. kilowatt. In fact, I think facility. we spoke about that yes. earlier, right? Yes. <laughs> we did. So during Christmas, people can have a ride in one of those. Yes. That's a great idea. <laughs> it's, a, it's good because Morocco gets closer to their yes, customers. Yes, we want and, to, precisely, we want to humanize Morocco. And if they have any questions, it's a good opportunity to ask you, I guess. Correct. You've got regular bicycles here also. also. Regular bicycles in For those that aren't lazy but for me yeah. i want to take the electric <laughs> bicycle because we have uh, hours of operations for the electric bike so when it's night time you can't ride it anymore you can't ride it anymore okay. so you can do the convention why is that is that because you have a charging schedule or for safety purposes. Oh, for safety okay because they go faster because they go faster okay and if you crash into someone they're quite yes, heavy correct Neutral. Ah, so as soon as you put it in reverse, the right. reverse camera is going to come on. It guides you where to go. And it's much higher quality than a lot of reverse cameras. Mm -hmm. You're going to be in big trouble if you bump this one. Precisely, <laughs> <laughs> so it's very careful. With as much as possible. <laughs> so. so that was a great ride in the Tesla. It's got a lot <laughs> of torque, a very, very amazing car and of course it's so cheap to run compared to a regular gasoline car or diesel car so yeah i hope you enjoyed that and there you go you can see one of the shuttles going along that's another electric shuttle so from a range of 295 we're now down to 278 but you also have to consider that we did a lot of really heavy acceleration so yeah now you can just put it back on charge then yeah, we charge it again uh, after using the car simple it's just like your cell phone use it charge yes. it use it charge it Correct. simple so if we just go over here we can turn around and hopefully get a better look at those wind turbines and there you go up there let me zoom in so imagine something as small as this is generating up to 1.5 kilowatts or 1500 watts pretty impressive huh it's not spinning right now but I did see it spinning around earlier And here's another electric vehicle. This one is obviously on charge also, although that's an unusual type of charger. And that's actually one of the things about electric vehicles in general, is that there are so many different like chargers, charger types, different vehicles with different battery types. You've got lead acid, you've got lithium ion, although they said they've got a, like a smart charger or something on the inside. So maybe we can take a look at that. So this is your new charger, right? This is the v fill and this is similar to the one that I used in the UK for the Nissan Leaf. And they of course do adapters as well, that's right, for like the Tesla and things like that. And you said you were just waiting for a replacement of the one you ordered. And this is a fast charger, so this can handle 50 kilowatt, wow. And it's not that big really. I assume it's got cooling fans on the back. Some huge cooling fans, I imagine. Oh, it's, uh, it's inside. The, oh, it's, it's inside. inside so it's sucking in air from there. Correct. And then out the top, maybe. That's why it's smaller than the others, because uh, it's actually inside. They're cooled inside, okay. Because the ones in the UK, they were so noisy. You could hear them from so far away with the fans going. Yes. And it's not even as hot in the UK compared to here. Precisely, so, so you can imagine how, how much Work the whole time. Yeah, and you're going to install this outside in your uh, e-vehicle power station. Yes, yes. Uh, but the good thing about these chargers is they actually allow um, two charging uh, protocols in one charger. in one unit. Right. But you can only use one at a time. Is that both right? You can, use you can use both. Okay, because the one I tested in the UK, when they have a machine like this with the two different things, you can only use one at a time. Right. Right. Yeah. This one is uh, this, this one. You can do both. Both. Okay, uh, so this is a newer Chademo, which is usually the Japanese uh, protocol. Okay. And CCS Combo, which is the European protocol. Okay, so we've got these two different protocols. Okay. 
So that's impressive. Not only can it do both, but at the same time. Okay. But it, but the 50 kilowatt is total. Yes, it's total. So it's, it's, it's going to be split. Precisely. Um, the other thing that's available here is you can also uh, accept uh, smart cards. Ah, uh, okay. So for billing. For billing, for, for charging. charging. Yeah. You just have to tap your card. Okay. And, and it will know what vehicle you've got, I assume. Wait, maybe you know what vehicle you have because of the because of the communication capabilities of uh, the protocols mm -mm. to tell you what's the size of the battery, what its current charge, okay, um, what type of vehicle it is. Yeah, That's what I liked about the machine in the UK, that it has a display and it would tell you how many amps are going in, right. stuff like that. It's, it's pretty interesting. Time is yeah, how much, how long it's going to take. Charge it, it used to be free in the UK, mm -hmm. but then recently they changed it and now you have to pay. Oh, okay. It was an, an electricity provider, so something like Morocco, but a UK equivalent. Right. They were giving it free uh, to promote electric initially. vehicles initially, yeah. yeah. But now you have to pay. <laughs> but it, I mean, it's still cheaper than gasoline. It is. And you can charge at home if you like, so. Precisely. Again, this is really just for range anxiety. Yeah. Uh, just to fulfill the requirements of uh, a quick charge or a top up. Yeah. But more often than not, you wouldn't need. Uh, you won't need this. And because it's lithium ion, the first 80% is like so Precisely. fast, right? Yes. It's That's only the it remaining. Minutes, uh, for the test, like, yeah. At 80%. For 80%, that's incredible. So thank you very much guys. Uh, hopefully everyone who watched this found it interesting. Um, it's really good to go here actually and to see what Morocco is doing. Um, it's really interesting and hopefully people will learn from this and also if businesses or consumers try and make schedules to go here, right. they can also learn they from you guys. They're very much welcome. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.